What's up mga pare? Kumusta po kayong lahat dyan? At ito na naman po ako, si Chris and welcome to my show. And today I'm gonna make a reaction video about Iisang Dagat. I heard that it's a very controversial um, music video. But anyways, we're gonna react tonight and I hope we'll be fine. But before we do this, if you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para po man-notify kayo sa mga upcoming videos na i-upload ko. Anyways, Without further ado, let's do this. They have come forward to help us. Really, we'll benefit from this support. Uh, Chinese doctors are here for the Filipino. And I'd like to thank uh, President Xi Jinping. Kung uh, galing lang China, wala kayong problema. Okay, 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 okay. What do you think about that, guys? Let me know in the comments below, okay? Don't don't hesitate to comment below. Okay, so so it's like this. Um, as an artist, kaya po ako nag enjoy as an artist, kasi po I know, because I myself I'm a musician. So it's it's the melody and the beat 
it fits the concept of the song and the lyrics I don't understand the Chinese ones but yung sa Pinoy na side it fits well with the music so that's why I'm really enjoying it I'm like really groovy really very reflective type of sound of music you know so kaya as an artist as a musician on the music side on a music's point of view um, it's very good I like it. It's reflective. It's powerful. And shout out Imelda Papin. You're awesome. You're still awesome. Yung, yung voice niya po is very powerful. It's like um, like Grace Nono. Yan. Kasi gusto ko rin si Grace Nono eh. Parang ganun yung voice niya talagang. Parang hindi talaga hindi hindi kumupas. Very good. So, yun po as a, on the artist side of, of the song. Let's go to the interesting part which is the political side of it you know the other side of it before ko po ginawa tong video na to medyo nag nanood din ako sa ano sa YouTube at sa news so i heard that ano daw yung binatikos daw to kasi daw marami daw nagalit ganun for me the opinion like i said opinion ko lang po to for me po yung ano yung yung the idea that despite Despite the chaos, despite sa mga nangyayaring hindi magaganda at the moment, this global pandemic going on, just the fact that people are still wanting hope and other people are still giving hope and letting everyone know that there is hope and everyone's aiming for peace, for me, that's a very good thing. Kasi, yun po yung natitirang, ano, for me, the power of God given to us through that you know for me that's the only power that's actually left that will give us the a good reason to keep fighting keep going you know and punch that in the face if you know what i mean but that's what i mean you know like <laughs> yung problema so anyway uh for me that's a really good thing you know the the people that that are aiming for peace world peace um kahit hindi world peace kahit peace lang and then um hope people are telling everyone there is still hope despite the chaos yun isang magandang bagay po yun and it's it's true there is a, there is still hope especially sa philippines you know sa dami ng pinagdaanan ng pilipinas mga bagyo mga controversy mga politics stuff you know at etong pandemic ngayon you know philippines is still going Filipinos are still surviving and fighting it and punching it in the face again. So, for me, that's a powerful thing. And I'm really happy about that. On the other side of it, on the other hand, yung mga nagalit at mga, mga hindi nasiyahan sa kantang ito. Kasi para siyang ano, yung nag, nangyari siya parang naging propaganda. Political propaganda. So, whoever will benefit, I don't know. I, I, I'll stay away from that. But, yung mga mga ano po mga hindi nasiyahan I can actually understand where they're coming from kasi um, unfortunately a big powerful country has we felt Filipinos that we have been bullied by a powerful big country and it's very disappointing then kasi um, years ago oh centuries like before Magellan came to the country bit of history there um in established na po kasi natin yung relationship natin with China you know economically and all that and um i could just cite an example how we felt uh how we how philippines felt bullied was like in Spratly Island yung case na po yon that's an, just an example so yun lang po yung ano, sasabi ko na I can understand how yung iba mga Pinoy nagagalit sila sa song na to kasi ano siya yung parang hello it's, a, it's, it's one big I think this is one big propaganda yun but I'm not saying that uh, it's proven because yun po yung parang na feel ng mga tao okay but I'm not saying any ano na it's proven na propaganda talaga or something like whatever you guys decide for that But what I'm trying to say is I can understand where they are coming from. Na 
na they also had the right to parang hindi nagandahan kasi sa, sa dami po natin pinagdaanan uh, on the bad side of things um, with with China so but I don't know like I said no one knows especially ako um, I don't know what China is up to and what Philippines is up to together it's good that we as Filipino people are now aware or have been aware at ngayon dahil sa social media marunong na tayong mag mag ano mag express pero sana po wag tayong mag overboard yun lang po yung ano natin so that's my reaction that's what I think about this video thank you very much for being here and for watching this video with me if you agree with me or if there's anything na hindi po kayo nag agree sa sinabi ko please let me know comment down below wag po kayong mahihiya let me know and um I take everything on board, you know. If there's anything else, guys, that you want me to react next time, let me know as well. Sa baba. Comment below, okay? Once again, if you're new here, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo, ma-notify kayo sa mga upcoming mga videos, mga uploads na gagawin ko. Okay? Take care and always look after yourself. Be safe. Stay in your bubble and stay Um, clean. Take care, God bless, and see you again next time. Bye for now.